Hello viewers, welcome back to Ginika Talks. My name is Ginika. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for staying so consistent with my channel. But please, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel or you're watching this video, kindly do. Your subscribing to my channel will be helping my channel, please. On today's video, I'm going to be discussing my experience with research fellowship application. If this is something you've been interested in watching, please kindly watch this video to the end. Specifically, I'm going to be discussing how I applied for TWAS fellowship and I got rejected. TWAS, T-W-A-S, is an acronym that stands for the World Academy of Science and is an organization that is based in Trieste, Italy. This organization, partnership with other organizations like CSIR, DBT, NRF, OWSD, to mention but a few, has established fellowship program for foreign scholars who are from developing countries but are interested in pursuing a research towards a PhD in selected countries such as India, South Africa, China, Turkey, Pakistan, Thailand, it is so each of these their partnership fellowship talk about the CSIR, the DBT, the OWSD, the NRF. They all have two categories. They have the full time and the sandwich fellowship. The full time is for scholars who have never been registered for a PhD. It's usually awarded for a period of three years, but can be extended for an additional two years. Why the sandwich is for research scholars that are currently registered for a PhD in their own home country, but who wish to pursue a research in any of the listed partner countries that I mentioned earlier, and is usually given for one year at least, but can be extended for up to two years. Both the full time and the sandwich have similar eligibility. Of course, you have to have your international passport before you're applying for a fellowship, but there's an age limit of 35 years. And and you must be from a developing country. In general, they have similar eligibility, which can be found in the link to apply for this fellowship that will be inserted at the description of this video. You can only apply for one program at a time. You are either applying for a full-time or a part-time. You cannot apply for the two at the same time. I started my PhD in the University of Hillary in January of 2016 and by August I already started applying for fellowships to sponsor me for at least one year abroad. This is because of the impact this research visit will have on my career and on my PhD journey. So I attended the Commonwealth, I attempted the Fulbright Fellowship, I attempted for Women in Science, I attempted Swiss Government Fellowship just to mention but a few and i attempted each of this fellowship for a minimum of two times but for every time i attempted the fellowship i got rejected now speaking specifically about trust in 2017 when the call for the trust dbt application came out i applied that was my first time of applying for trust but unfortunately i was not selected because i was already a registered phd student i applied for the sandwich fellowship my not being selected in 2017 really caused a lot of havoc i cannot begin to describe the low self-esteem i began to feel the imposter syndrome a lot of thoughts were creeping in i felt oh maybe my proposal was not good enough i was about giving up because i mean i've been applying for several fellowships fellowships before attempting to us and i wasn't getting selected thank god we don't even look like the pain we have been through and to be honest while i was applying for this fellowship i was i initially felt oh since it is in india to be a less competitive fellowship oh how wrong i was if you have ever tried to apply for a fellowship you will agree with me that it is actually a lengthy process that requires a lot of patience 2018 another call came out i was completely reluctant to apply because I mean, not after all the heartbreak I've experienced from rejection emails. The call for the application in 2018 came out in June and was closing in August. One afternoon like that in August, my husband asked me that, oh, I've not heard you talk about the TWAS fellowship. What's going on? Are you not applying? I just shrugged it off. I told him, oh, please leave me. I'm not applying. I had to oblige. Immediately, I swung into action, started sending mails. Honestly, I sent mails from, to more than 30 professors. And some replied with, you know, we are sorry, we cannot take it. As God we have it, I just stumbled upon Savitri by Fule Pune University. I checked the Department of Chemistry, you know, the profiles of the research professors, and I just saw this kind-hearted lady's picture. I sent her an email informing her that I was about applying for the first DBT PhD Sandwich Fellowship for one year, and I would like to know if she would be willing to host me for the duration in her laboratory. I attached my research proposal and, you know, just sent it to her because 
I really love that research actually because her research aligned perfectly with what I was doing with my in my PhD then. And barely 48 hours of me sending her the mail, she responded with, yes, I am willing to host you. And after telling me she was willing to host me, she went ahead to get these documents ready and send them to me so that I can upload them along with my application on the, on the online application portal. I was just saying, God, is this you? I was left with the challenge of how to get other requirements, other documents to be submitted. Now, because I was applying for a sandwich program, the body knows that I am a registered PhD student in my home country. They require a letter called Objection, No Rejection Letter, which must be signed by the head of my institution. They also require a letter of support from the registrar of my institution. And this is in addition to letters of support from my referees. At the time I was making this application in 2018, I was even in Abakaliki, I was not in a learning. So how will I make the journey from Abakaliki to a learning within such a short short time to be able to request for all these letters, especially from the VC's office and the registrar's office? So I just mailed my home supervisor, God bless that man, very kind-hearted professor, first-class professor, man of integrity, very caring professor, to be honest. I mailed him, explained to him that so since this application call is out and I just tried, started applying and this is what I need. Sharply he swung into action, Jagaban, eh? He went straight to the research office, registrar's office, got me all the necessary letters that I needed to support my application. Then I mailed all my referees and they all sent in their letters. I submitted the application. Then the wait began. Hmm. The tension was high because I was worried, oh, should I get rejected a second time? What will I do this time around? I returned back to Elori in September to come and continue my lab work. So I got a bit distracted and forgot everything about my application. On the application portal, it was stated that selected candidates were going to be informed of the decision of the fellowship body by December of 2018 or latest early 2019 so december of that 2018 my host supervisor just mailed me from india to wish me a happy christmas and asking me if i have heard anything from the fellowship body and how she looked forward to hosting me in her lab that mail was it was like should i say a sign from i told it as a sign from god that i was going to get the fellowship this time around because it was so sweet and refreshing to read so i replied oh no i have not heard anything from the fellowship body and she replied again that i should mail them to know the status of my application in my mind who does that why would i be mailing to us to ask them hey i want to know the status of my application no. she is to ask my father's property <laughs> i should have an automatic share inheritance and then i'll do me a favor I didn't understand that, but if it's like now, I would definitely mail. If you are not meeting up to your speculated deadline, I will mail you to make an inquiry. <laughs> so I didn't do that mail. I was just hopeful and praying. On March 6, 2019, I was just seated in my supervisor's lab here in Nigeria. That day, I was so downcast in my spirit. I didn't know why. I was just thinking about my research work. It wasn't having the kind of headway I was projecting it should have. I was telling myself, if I don't get a fellowship, what would be the next thing? I was almost thinking of quitting my PhD because I was stressed. I was drained. I can't just begin to put to words how I was feeling at that point. Then I just received this mail and the mail... You know, the heading was swas. I was scared. I was shivering. I was thinking, oh, last class, it would just be the, we are sorry. Due to the high influx of application we got this year, we regret to inform you that your application was not selected. If you have been applying for research fellowships and you have been getting rejection, you may be used to this line. But the heading of this mail was award. I was looking for, behind the road, we are sorry, we regret to inform you. The conversation I was seeing was even looking like Spanish. At that point, it dawned on me like, wait, there's no rejection. No, we are sorry. Nothing. Then it must be an award. It must be an offer. Hmm. You cannot imagine my excitement. I was shivering. I was like, no, this cannot be true. The, I, I won't say I did anything different in the, my application this time around to get selected because it was the same proposal I used for the first time I applied in 2017. I didn't change anything. That was the same proposal I used again to apply in 2018. But I, I, this was when I knew that. You see, my getting this fellowship in 2018 is just God. It is purely God. God just decided to show me mercy. They are paying me to come and do research in india for one year i've never entered an airplane in my life you say what what's my name 
Who got my back? God got my back. I was excited. I called my mom first. I called my husband. I was like, I'm going to India. That was the way I put it. I got the trust fellowship. I said, I was too excited. Thankfully, I was the only one in the lab that day. So I sent an email to my own my supervisor here in Nigeria because he wasn't around the day I received this mail. Then I also sent an email to my host supervisor in India. Everybody was happy for me. Part of the mail sent by to us read that if you will be accepting this award, please kindly respond by signing this duly attached form to confirm. I'm like, if I will be interested in accepting the award, <laughs> when it's not a village people on my case, I have already accepted this award. Sharply, I signed the attached form, sent it back to them. Then the whole process to go to the embassy and all that, such as getting the ministerial clearance, you know, and all the embassy shenanigans commenced. The moment I got my visa approved, I, and I, I, I quickly mailed to us and they sent me my flight ticket hey it was like a dream come to from the moment my flight ticket was sent to me with my pro with my travel date my host supervisor hmm, god will bless that woman immediately sent me mails so this is what you should have in your checking bag you make sure you don't have things make sure you put your credentials in your hand luggage don't keep it in your checking bag you're going to be asked when you arrive at the airport here in india at the immigrations your reason for visiting this is how you should answer them this is how you should do this hello madam you are god sent god sent you to me and she he made the whole journey seamless it is very important you have supportive mentors as your research supervisors if you are doing a phd or a master's the main essence of today's video is just to encourage somebody who is in the process of applying for grad school application maybe you have been rejected countless times but don't give up on your journey do not suffer the imposter syndrome like i did thankfully the imposter syndrome is in the past Otherwise, I will not be here. Body sharing my story with you. There's this common saying in Nigeria now who give up, fuck up. Don't be discouraged. Don't allow one or many rejections stop you from pursuing that which you have set your mind to do. Paul said in Philippians 4 I, 5, forget those things that are behind and I'm pressing on towards the goal. When you remember the final goal, when you remember the end result, let that be a motivation to keep you going. And I'm sure God will surely come true for you in a big way. So if today's video resonates with you, maybe you've been rejected while applying for a fellowship, I would like to also read, your, read from you. Share your experience down below with me in the comment section. It could even be a job application that did not go your way. Please, I would like to read from you as well. Thank you so much for joining me to this video. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do. Till I come here with my next video. Bye.